I'm, my son is 13 years old and he's never been to Nigeria. I think the reason they haven't been is because I haven't been too, you see. So, because I need to go there first and take them along. And um, what I do is very intense and require a lot of focus. Okay. All right, I see. Um, returning to your work, we're slightly confused as to exactly who you work for. Do you work for the US government? You work for yourself? Oh. I know. Yeah, sure. I read that Microsoft had approached you to so sure. work for them. Yes. I, it depends on different times. Initially, I worked, I worked for the US government in the past and um, conducting research. And um, now I work for myself. And I still conduct research, but I have all kinds of activities. Like right now, I'm, I'm studying this week in, in London. Mm -hmm. So I, I get invitations um, from all over the world. And so I, I get pretty busy, that's what I'm trying to say. Okay, uh, I see. And what are you working on right now? You were telling us about a new supercomputer yes. off, off camera. Can you explain a little bit about that? Okay, it's a little abstract but I'll try to simplify. Um, I work on next generation supercomputers and next generation internet. Mm -hmm. And basically what that means is that we are trying to find a way to make computers as we know them today obsolete. In other words, you will be computing without computers. Okay. okay. So um, what does that mean? I won't have my laptop, I won't have my PC? Yes, well, what that means is that today, think of electricity. You can get electricity without a generator. Mm -hmm. And the same way you can get computers, computing power, without a computer. And we have it as a grid out there, and you just tap onto it. And it's already happening, because many Nigerians today use Hotmail and Yahoo as their email source. And what they don't realize is that uh, their email is not on their computer. So similarly, we want to shift other functions that the computer does. We want to move the word processor out of the computer the same way we move the email out of the computer. And then we also want to move the operating system out of the computer. So we want to move everything out of the computer. So it's much easier than you just pay a subscription fee, monthly subscription fee, to use computing resources. That way you don't have to worry about upgrading your computer, it automatically gets upgraded for you each month or so. Okay. And uh, the, in terms of we can achieve that because um, the computer of the future will be completely different, as I said earlier. And what it how it ties in with supercomputer is that the supercomputer of today, historically, um, will become the computer of tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So what we are working in the supercomputing field gives you an idea of what the what you will be using in the future. And there's a lot of similarity between the supercomputer and the internet. And basically what it, the similarity is that a supercomputer is really thousands of nodes that communicate and compute at the same time. And the internet is millions of nodes that communicate and compute at the same time. So conceptually, the supercomputer and the internet come from this, germinated from the same conceptual seed and eventually they will converge into one and the same technology. How far away is that? Are we talking five years, ten years? It, it's difficult. We're talking of a, it's, I like to say, twin, you, you, it's going to be gradual. It's not going to be overnight. Yeah. Okay, so you've seen element of that, as I said earlier, with Hotmail and, Hotmail and Yahoo and other forms of email being outside the system. So it's going to be evolutionary. But I think if you come back 20 or 30 years, you'll be surprised that your computer has almost disappeared from your home and office. Okay. It's very interesting, yeah. definitely something to watch. Um, my final question is about Nigeria again. Do you see a day when someone like you can stay in Nigeria and achieve what you have achieved? When we won't need to come and study in the UK or in the US, for instance? Do you see that at all? Or are we yeah, it's, um, that's a tough question. Um, be, people will always move to greener pastures, unfortunately. Um, but on the other hand, there are things we can do because many of the things we now with technology, uh, the, what the internet has done is, is that it allowed us to break down the barriers of space and time. So many things that we now do in the U.S. doesn't have to be done in the, in the U.S. They can be done in Africa and Asia. And in fact, when you, many jobs in the future will be leaving the United States and going to Africa 
and Asia. We have examples like call centers, which are now shifted to third world countries, where we have cheaper labor. So if the jobs are, will be moving to Asia and to Africa, yes, technological research and education, um, even the high-tech education we receive here, can be remotely delivered to Africa. So in that sense, it's not even necessary. It will not be necessary in the future to come to the U.S. to study because um, you can, the lectures and all things can be broadcast instantaneously to Africa, to anywhere in the world. But are you hopeful about Nigeria's future? I think, I, I, I think we will make, continue to make progress like all nations, and so the future is bright, definitely. Okay. Thank you very much. Sure. You're welcome.